Another array method, similar to the sum method that was discussed in a previous video, the every method. Now, while the array sum method went through each of the elements in an array in a functional approach, looking at each element one after another, and then stopping when it found one that did meet your condition, the every method wants to make sure that every element in the array meets whatever condition you set up. So I've got an array here called numbers, list of numbers. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that all of the numbers that are in my array are greater than 20 or greater than 10 or some other number that I can arbitrarily choose. So let's create a new variable greater than 20. So let's say I wanted to check and see if all the numbers in my array exceeded 20. Numbers.every and then we're going to pass it in a function, just like all the other functional ones that we've used. So map, for each, filter, reduce, sum, every. They all have the same sort of approach. You pass in a function, and then that function is going to be given by the every method three things for each one of these elements. It's going to give you the element itself, its position in the array, and if you want, the array as well. Well, I really only care about the number itself that's going to be right inside here. So we're going to do num. I want to look at the number and see if the number is greater than 20. So my function is going to return num greater than 20. So I'll get a true or false answer for each one of these. And then we will console log out the answer. All right, so let's take a look and see if this works. No. All right. Numbers. Oh, yeah, of course. Need an equal sign there because we're going to assign the result of this function running. All right. Try this one more time. There we go. False. Not every number in here was greater than 20. First one, sure, but this second one? it does not meet that condition. So we'll try greater than 10. Same sort of idea, we pass in the function. That function can take one, two, or three arguments. We're just going to use the first argument, the num, the number itself, the element itself from the array and we'll return whether or not num was greater than 10. And then write out our answer. I'm going to put a new line in between here and then write out our answer greater than 10. Okay. There we go. First time was false. Second time was true. So that means that every single number inside of this array did exceed 10. This was greater than 10, this was greater than 10, this was greater than 10. And if we put console log statements inside of here, like we're not stuck with just using a single line of code. We can put other things inside of here. We can write out the number that we're testing. There we go. So we can see false was this time, and then this time through we're going to write out each of the numbers as we look at them. So 40, 16, 67, and so on. True. So we looked at all of these and every single one of them gave us back a true answer. And that's why at the very end we get a true.